Before we get in the video, please like, make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, go ahead and leave a comment below. And click on the how you can help, which brings up the Family for the Game website and gives you lots of ideas how you can help us. Thank you. Right, time for a little Fantasia. <clears throat> Started this game recently, let's just keep on going. I think we need to come see this lady, I think. Or it's a guy. Welcome to Owen's fortune telling. We were looking for a girl. Ah, or welcome back, I should say. So I've been here before then? What do you mean, you don't remember? I've lost my memory. How dreadfully unfortunate. You owe me a bunch of money. You don't remember? I do right here, here, you sign this. Just kidding. And you hope to find your memory again through the power of Fortune telling? Very well, right this way. <coughs> okay, now we have a customer. Come give me a hand. Wow, great acting. You! It's you! Yes, it's me. And who are you? You're! You're the reason I came to this town. Ah, don't touch me! Uh, hey. Oh, from the forest. Ah, too close. I have bad breath. All that garlic! Hey, wait! I don't know your name. I guess we're going this way. That's the only place I fear she went. I'm Leo. And you? Ugh. Memories of the encounter. I was walking through a forest. The rays of sun, the birds chirping. I want to go back there. The beautiful scenery, like something from a painting, brought a smile to my face. Let's put a smile on that face. The forest treasure, request, disjointed words drifted into my mind. I don't know why I was in the forest. At any rate, I was in a hurry, or at least I think I was. I tripped over a stump. As I walked through the tall grass, I came across a flower garden. I think someone planted this garden. The flowers before my eyes were so captivating. Captivatingly beautiful that I let my guard down. Hey, Gorilla 4K. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Hopefully you're doing well. I can't remember much beyond that. Only the vastness of the gardens. I touched the flowers without a second thought. It was poison! The flower bit me. I finally, I suddenly found myself lying on the ground. My entire body was in shock. My consciousness hazy. My lips dry. It was a snake bite. That's right. The flowers I touched were highly poisonous. Called it the first time. Could this be... How I die. Game over. We're done. I'm going home. That's it. Then as I lay there thinking oddly calm. I'm alive. A clear radiant light enveloped my body. I don't remember for how long. I think they were gray aliens. 
But I do know that I wanted to stay like that forever. The soft glow is so peaceful. That's right. I was saved by you. What's her name, Akina or something? That's right, it was you. You saved me with magic. Yes, I remember you. Why are you stalking me? But you can't tell Owen. He doesn't know I have no magic. If he found out I used magic without his permission, he'd be so upset. Okay, I understand. Now about my memory. You got some magic for memory because it's a, I don't know, it's a trope in role-playing games that the hero loses his memory and goes stumbling around for a while until he finds it. You really lost your memory? Yes! And I can't find it. You know, it always reminds me of this. People are like, I had someone go, why is it when you've lost your keys, it's always the last place you looked? And I'm like, why would you keep looking after you found them? Yeah. But maybe with the power to look into the past and the future... Got it. I'm sure Owen can help you. Well, here's hoping at least. All right, let's go ask him. Why can't we just? Uh, 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 why didn't we just go ask him? I guess we we're assessing about her. Obtained Leo's memory. Memories of the encounter. Oh, okay. Great. You can read any memories you obtain in the story section of the camp menu. Probably not going to happen, but okay. Thank you. Wait, she just left me in a room? <laughs> I love this game. Use an iron key to open this chest. Okay, sure. Yes, you don't have a key. Well, then why'd you offer? Why don't you just tell me it's locked? Tell me it's locked and I can't get in there. And I need an iron key. That's better. Well, then. Are you ready? What happened to your lips, dude? Too much hair. Yeah, here's hoping this gets my memory back. Please tell me my fortune, and don't saw me in half. Alright. Huh? What's with the hand? I want money. Ahem! My services don't come for free. <laughs> the fee. What fee? It's Fifi. It's a little dog. You want a little doggy? I can restore your memory, but not for free, I'm afraid. The ironic thing is, I already know, naturally, that you cannot pay! Well, he's, he's a very bright uh, fortune teller. Thus, I cannot tell your fortune. So it's all about money for you? <clears throat> well, yeah, yeah. Now what do we do? Sorry, you came all this way to get your memory back. You can't get it back because you can't pay. Well, that was a total waste of time. Might as well head back to town. Mm, I'm going to save after I get this treasure chest. over here. Nothing but stuff that's turning me purple. Be my purple. I do. Can I drop down? Guess I can't drop down there. Uh oh. It's a battle. Steel, and I gotta level up. Got that potion. I got, I got two thousand money. 
Huh. I wonder how you get up on the roof of that house. There's a chest up there. Wait! Wait for me! I want to come with you. You? Again? Kina. It's Kina. Or is it Kaina? I want to go with Kina. I want to help you. How? You want to get your memories back, but you can't without money, right? I've got 2,000. So I'll help you collect some money. Don't bother. I'll manage. I'll find some way to get my memories back on my own if I have to. But serves me right to think an old grifter like that could help me anyway. Don't talk about Owen that way. He wouldn't charge if he didn't have to. Have to? Vam, Vam the Malevolent, Kina said. Listen, it's true. Mm-hmm. Owen's power. A thunderous roar blasted from the fortune teller's room, waking Kina. Kina, Kina, Owen cried out from behind the door. Surprised and worried, Kina hastily rose to her feet. When Kina opened the old door to the fortune teller's room, saw Owen sitting on the floor, slumped against the shelf with his mouth flapping like a fish. Owen, are you all right? Kina rushed over the old man and helped him back to his feet. Once he noticed her, Owen couldn't keep from shouting. Kina, something incredible has, has happened. What was the terrible noise, she asked. In the uproar, neither of them was able to speak coherently. Owen continued to yell. It was Van the Malevolent. Not, 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 not the word I have trouble with. He appeared before me and gave me an incredible power. No one will call me a charlatan anymore. From now on, my words will become true prophecy. Was Owen dreaming or was she? She could not understand his words at first. That night, Owen rested on the floor and Kina drifted back to shallow sleep. Sleep, sleep. After the evening, Owen's behavior began to change. He began charging customers excessive amounts of money. Money, 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 money. <coughs> but that wasn't the only surprising thing. Owen's predictions, all of them, came true. Owen could see through each customer's past and future and give them precise words of guidance. He was no longer an ordinary fortune teller. He was a prophet. Word spread of Owen's talent, and soon everyone in the town of N knew his name. What a short name for a town. The power to see the past and the future. There were, there were many so, who so strongly sought the inside of his abilities granted that no price would deter them. Listen carefully, Kina. Mankind's greed for money has the most powerful energy. Van the Malevolent. No, Lord Van gifted me this power. People's hearts move for things they desperately want. Remember this. Kina couldn't quite understand him. These words didn't sound like Owen she knew. Maybe he was possessed by that evil demon he saw. Ever since that night, she heard him utter a certain name. Van the Malevolence. They are really, really browbeating everybody with their religious beliefs in this game. As the days went on, Kina grew increasingly concerned. <coughs> she feared that his, this name meant something truly dangerous. <coughs> That doesn't make any sense. Thanks for the story. I'll figure something out on my own. I see. Oh, and thank you, by the way. For saving me back there. I never said thanks for that, did I? It was your smell. You have this mysterious smell. I smell? Yes. A mix between a yak and a dog. It, it was not a bad smell. More like a heartwarming smell. Like s'mores. A heart-warming smell? That's why I saved you. Your smell made me want to help you. Uh, pheromones, maybe. She loves you. Look, I'm flattered, I guess, but I can handle this alone. Okay. I see. It's not safe around here. I can't put you in danger. Really? Let's let her run back by herself. Didn't we just fight monsters out here? Look out! Huh? Incoming! 
be nice to have another person in my party and I just have one guy fighting. Whoa! They'll attack the instant we give them an opening. So many of them, I'm not tasty. You sure you want to eat me? You take cover, I'll wipe them out before any more show up. One gone. That's not good. Ugh, they sure they sure are making it hard to aim. Maybe my magic will do the trick. Curve to hit multiple enemies. Maybe I did that wrong. Oh nice. So make you can curve the trajectory of your magic. I didn't do it! Looks like it helped out after all. Took out one. Well, either way, we'll take them all out. Ah! There we go. That's what I was supposed to do before. <clears throat> I was supposed to press down. Now we got 2300 gold. I guess you saved me once again. So. Okay, you convinced me. You want to come along? Yes, thank you. Ha! That's my line. Keenan joined the party. Oh, we got two people to fight. Yay! Huh. Other chests we missed, but that's okay. Oh my. Boom. Big guy go down. Yeah, much easier with two people. Much faster. I get all experience out of it, but... Uh... <laughs> Did you come from the old district by any chance? Yep. I apologize for the suddenness, but I have a favor to ask of you. Would you mind lending me your ear for a little while? No, I like it on my head. <sighs> yes, I got it. Fine. Cough, cough. My child's run off somewhere again. You can look for him, but as soon as you see... I think he's having an option of research. Would you please find him for me? You may find him in the old district. He's convinced that 
The Mecteria is what's making me sick. Back to where I just came from. Look for a kid. There we go. Some kid. Cat lady lives there. Is she still alive? Oh, hillstone. Well, that'll come in handy. Fragment. Uh, ha Eight hundred. Oops. Ah! You have battles right inside a town. Now it's a small town, but still. Same result as last time. I may have to use an item on her, though. I think I will use an item on her. Aha! Get out of here. You stay out of this. I gotta do this for my mom. Huh? My mom's looking for me? I gotta get rid of this stuff. Or else she won't get better. <coughs> really? Wait, why should I blow a stranger? Just buy that, okay? Okay. Can I give them the right answers? <coughs> Your mother's looking for you. Mother's crying. How could you make her cry? Go home. Saved them. And get a battle immediately. Okay. Really doesn't like her, does he?
Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. <laughs>